Welcome to electron line. Here we have the cotangent of x. So we're going to find the integral in the exact same way we did for the tangent. The answer will look a little different, and then you'll see why they try to make it look the same or similar to what we got with the tangent of x. So let's take a look and see how this works. So first we're going to replace the cotangent of x by what that is equal to. So this becomes equal to the integral of the cosine of x divided by the sine of x times dx. And again, in the same way, we look at the denominator, we look at the numerator, and we realize the numerator is actually the differential of the denominator. In other words, the dvx of the sine of x is equal to the cosine of x, the positive cosine, and then if we move the dx over there, we can see that the differential of the sine of x is equal to the cosine of x times dx, which is, which is exactly what we have in the numerator. So therefore, we can integrate this using the natural log. So this becomes equal to the natural log of the sine of x plus a constant of integration. And that is the answer. We can stop right here. But then when you look at an in a, in a table of integrals, you may not see this exact format of the answer. That's because we know that the integral of the tangent of x is equal to the cotangent, or no, not the cotangent, but is equal to the secant of x plus a constant of integration. Not the secant of x, of course, but is equal to the natural log of the secant of x. So you can see that here it's in terms of the secant of x, there it's in terms of the sine. Hmm. So to make it look kind of the same as the integral of the tangent of x, what we could do, we could say, well, this is equal to a negative 1 times a negative 1 times the natural log of the sine of x plus a constant of integration. And then we can take one of these and place it over here. So this is equal to a negative 1 times the natural log of the sine of x raised to the minus 1 power plus c. And then, of course, this becomes equal to minus the natural log of 1 over the sine of x plus a constant of integration, which can then be written as the negative natural log of the cosecant of x plus a constant of integration. And then, see, this is typically the answer you might find in a table of integrals. But I like this much better because it doesn't have a negative sign, but again, they want to show the similarity between the two. And that's probably why they do it like this as well. And that's how it's done.